How do you bring electricity into your camper? Well, let's talk about it because we are used to systems like converters and whatnot, but this has a BM Pro unit and it's an MDC USA trailer. It is different, I do like it. Let's go check it out. I can't, I can't, I can't. We're inside the MDC USA trailer and this is a real neat setup because it has a bunk system, but it folds up, gives me a lot of headroom here so I can look at the battery bank and the other electronics right down here. One thing I always like about these MDC USA trailers is they make some of these electrical components easy to see and talk about. Today we're gonna to focus on the suite of BM Pro products in here. Now BM Pro is an Australian company. They've been making electronic components for the RV market for going on 50 years and they've been doing it specifically for the way they camp in Australia which is a lot of what well, we would say overlanding. I mean it's Australia. You have the outback and one continuous coastline is pretty amazing. So let's talk about the BM Pro products in here. The BM Pro Battery Plus 35 unit in here, and this is their Battery Plus 35 2HA or high amp unit, is a really spectac spectacular unit because what it does is what we would think a traditional RV converter would do. It handles all the power going in to the unit from shore power or your tow vehicle or a DC to DC charger or solar all those power sources go into the battery plus 35 and then it smartly manages how it outputs across all of the devices and outlets on your trailer. It doesn't sound like all that much different from a converter except for it has a few other built-in components. So one thing that this has going for it is it has your BMS or your battery management system. Very important with modern batteries, whether they be a standard lead acid or really in particular your lithium ion batteries, to have a battery management system built in and that does it. Some batteries, some lithium ion batteries actually have a BMS built in, but many do not. So you know that with this battery plus 35 unit, that's covered and you are safely managing the life and the efficiency of that battery. Now the next thing I see on here is that this has an MPPT designation on it which stands for maximum power point tracking. This is an important thing to have on any unit that handles input particularly from a source like solar panels because what you want is to make sure that the the voltage coming in from that source, the solar panel, is the right voltage pushing into the battery to safely and efficiently charge that battery. If it is not matched appropriately, then you are underserving or overserving that battery, which is not good for efficient charging or for safety, lifespan, all those things. So having MPPT built into the battery plus 35 means that once again, you're matching the source of power to the charging needs of the battery. Really cool to have baked in to this system. Now one thing that you'll notice when we roll in B-roll of this unit is that it it allows you to make for some really clean understandable wiring which the OCD people like I don't know sometimes me I really appreciate just being able to see the clean lines and understand okay this is where the inputs the outputs and all that are so I can get to them if I'm troubleshooting or honestly if I just want to open up and say hey clean wiring. I appreciate that. One thing I did mention just a little bit earlier is the ability to bring in power from solar panels. Now obviously a lot of us are mounting solar panels on the roof but there's always the option of using external solar panels. Well the battery plus 35 is able to handle obviously installations just on the roof or just as external or a split of both. So it has two places that you can connect to the BM Pro battery plus 35 and the neat thing about it is it doesn't have to be one or the other it can manage and monitor up to 420 watts of solar and it can be all on the roof all external or split up between the two and it can monitor that input and give you a really good idea of what's coming in from those sources 
Um, fantastic for those who are going to be off grid, off road, and if, I guess as the Australians say, out in the bush. You may have noticed the number of connections on this unit. There are 12 10 amp DC outputs and there are two 15 amp DC outputs and they can go to whatever you want to wire them to. Obviously they've wired them to the various 12 volt appliances and accessories in this trailer, both inside and out. Now, if you've been watching very long, you may have noticed that one of my favorite things that I've ever installed on my trailer is a DC to DC charger. This trailer has one. It's another BM Pro unit. It's actually called the Mini Boost. Now, even if you didn't go with the Mini Boost from BM Pro, another DC to DC charger would work with this unit because there is an input that works specifically very well with that. So again, you could be driving down the road with a solar input while you're driving, charging your battery, and you could be charging from your tow vehicle standard through your seven pin, or better yet, you could have that solar charging and you could be running a DC to DC charger like this mini boost from BM Pro and really be just, I wouldn't say cooking your battery, that, that'd be terrible, but you could really be charging it up efficiently so that whenever you arrive where you're going, you're in a great place to boondock, to be off grid and use whatever equipment you want. Now, one thing that I'm always concerned about, I, you always hear about surge protection, surges and spikes and all that hurting your equipment. Very dangerous, you don't wanna deal with that. But one thing that I'm always concerned about for batteries, for attached equipment, whether the energy is coming into the trailer or going out, is actually low voltage, or what you might hear sometimes referred to as a brownout. Low voltage is at least as dangerous for your onboard electronics as a high voltage spike. The circuit boards, they, they might overheat in other equipment, whether it be here in this bay or your refrigerator, anything that has a circuit board. A low voltage situation is dangerous and the Battery Plus 35 actually has some protections in it for low voltage to protect itself and attached equipment from a low voltage or brownout situation, which is obviously protecting you and your trailer. If you wanted to talk about this package as it comes from MDC USA, and, and do forgive the rain, we're happy for it. This unit does have the BM Pro BC300 Smart Shunt attached. Now that is a very important device because it allows the battery plus 35 to operate normally and to give you really, really accurate readings on the power coming in and going out when you have other attached equipment. Take for instance, the mini boost, or maybe, maybe more importantly, this pure sine wave inverter. Whenever you have equipment like that attached, having something like the BC300 smart shunt in place allows the battery plus 35 to operate as it's designed, but also to give you the correct information on the power coming in and going out because you want to stay on top of that. And before I really move on to, to another panel to show you, I do want to talk about there are some outlets on here that are designed to be always on, if you will, and those control things or send power to things that you want, whether you're stationary and camping or particularly if you're in route, because this has the Trail Assure break, uh, asymmetric sway control system on it, which is a really cool thing to, to mitigate sway. I love that thing, but it needs to be powered from the onboard battery of the trailer itself. And so the battery plus 35 allows for equipment like that to stay on. So that works for the, not only the trail assure system, powering the trail assure system, so it's always operating, but also the really cool smart braking system that they have. Should your tow vehicle and trailer be separated, this will power those brakes and hopefully bring you to a safe stop so you can fix the issue and carry on. How do you monitor what's happening in your battery? Well, I'm gonna direct your attention to this panel in this cabinet here. And it's the RV View 2 from BM Pro and it's a really cool thing. It, it's, it tells you not only where your power is coming into your trailer to charge your battery using the battery plus 35 unit. What it does is it tells you shore power. Uh, is it coming from the tow vehicle? Is it coming in through, through the DC, DC, DC charger? Is it coming in through solar? 
or if you're blending two sources, it will tell you that you're blending two sources. You'll be able to see the state of your battery. Is it full? Is it being charged? Is it not being charged and yet it is still being utilized to power things? So input power, output power, and you have, you know, amps, voltage, whatever really is the right piece of information for you. It is just displayed clearly on this panel. It does have a few tricks up its sleeve as well. The RV View 2 isn't just about electrical power. You can also manage up to four tanks, holding tanks, capacities for fresh water, gray water, and a black tank if your trailer is so equipped. So it's a nice, clean, easy to understand, and very useful piece of equipment. I realize that this has been a little bit of an overview. It hasn't been really in depth on the numbers and the specs of these pieces of equipment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some links down below in the video description to some of the literature from BM Pro on each one of these units. So you can see how they work individually and how they play as a complete ecosystem to manage the power safely and efficiently in your RV. So look down below in the video description for that information. And in the meantime, I think it's a real neat option and it does come on the MDC USA trailers. If you want to check it out in person, we have them at Princess Craft. In the meantime, it's been a pleasure talking to you about it and we will see you next time.